Hey, it's Aaron. I am here at Tallgrass Film Festival with this guy who is named Paul. Paul and Klusman. He is also here. Paul Klusman, yes. So how's it been going? How's your experience at the Tallgrass Film Festival this year? I'm having a blast, an absolute blast. This is my favorite weekend of the entire year in Wichita, Kansas. It is pretty awesome. We all love it as yes. well. I've heard that it's kind of the best film festival that is around. Um, I've only just been to a couple of others. Uh, I'll tell you, ride would be one that I've been to. Um, the Internet Cat Video Film Festival. That's another good one. And um, you have some internet film videos, correct? I do. I do. I'm a, I make silly cat videos on YouTube. Awesome. And uh, who doesn't want silly cat videos? Who doesn't love silly cat Ugh. videos? I uh, did some calculations. We've wasted 120 years of human productivity. If you look at the total views and then multiply wow. by about four minutes per view, and that's the engineer. Wasted Is that the engineer some... part of you coming out? Yes, yes, yeah. So you engineer awesome silly cat videos, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then calculate how much time we waste. And on then them. calculate how much time has been wasted. People are supposed to be getting their quarterly reports done, and then they're watching a little cat video on YouTube. Well, I mean, you could argue that it increases productivity, right? Because if you don't have pleasure True. of silly cat videos, there has to be, then your life is depressing. You have to be a break. You have to like kick back yeah. from your work once in a while. Yeah, true. So it's very, it's very important what you do and what you contribute. But you also Not have, really. <laughs> you also have some, is it like serious videos that you've submitted to Tallgrass in the past? No, they've all just been silly cat videos. Awesome. Yeah. It, it started out, um, I was just doing uh, some amateur film stuff and uh one of them i the, the cats were in just a little quick little cameo and my mom said oh your kitties were so cute in that you should put some more <laughs> kitties in as well and and it's convenient because they're available 24 7 to film and are they are they like really photo energetic and like being on film um they've kind of gotten used to certain things like if i put a little costume on them and make them sit they know okay i gotta sit and wait for them you know, but I mean, no, they don't ham it up to the camera or anything like that. All right, so. cue silly cat video right now because I want to see this. I'm really <laughs> excited about this. And okay, so you got into Tallgrass last year, and you had your films shown to major Tallgrass um, movie snobby That would people. be in 2007. Okay, was the first time I was in. I was, and then they've, uh, I think 2012. I was in also. They've been very nice. No legitimate, serious, reputable film festival will show a silly cat video, except for Tallgrass. I mean, but all of the videos that you watch at Tallgrass are perfect. So when you told me They're that you had good, a film yes. put in, I mean, it's ridiculous how hard it is to get in. I mean, what, like 1,500 I slept with Shan people? Jabara oh, to get well, in. That's so how you that's, do it. So yeah, what's her yeah. name again? So I need to... Shan Jabara. Is, okay. She's a lovely woman. She's, uh, you know, connections is not what you know. So can you, you know. write that down so I can <laughs> chat that person? Okay. That's how it We're works. good. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start on my. That's films. been our. That's been our, our running joke for well since 2007. So yeah. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> I mean, but seriously, if they if they love you that much, they're not going to. They, it doesn't matter. They're going to only put in the best things. Speaking of the best things, what have you seen so far that you absolutely love or dis dislike? Um, is, that, is there even the such most a thing? powerful thing I've seen so far is the Overnighters. It's a film about the pastor that opened his church up for uh, the workers in the oil fields in North Dakota. Uh, okay. my, my parents were born and raised in North Dakota, so it's kind of got a, a little bit of a personal connection. There's an amazing, amazing, powerful, incredible, devastating film. Very, very inspirational. I noticed when you said North Dakota. North Dakota. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. That makes sense. So what else have you seen? I, I heard you mentioning that you had seen Mood Indigo. Did you yes. like that movie? Yeah, I did. Uh, my own stuff has a lot of whimsical silly nonsense well, in it and that was are in it yeah that was that videos. was right up my alley so i thought it was i thought it was wonderful yes uh and you didn't have a problem with the way that it changed towards the end no i mean no that's, spoilers here but that's you know that's that's life sometimes mm -hmm. so you know yeah. i heard uh, there's already been some mixed reviews from some of the people that have gone to see it for project nerd and they were a little bit upset that it was so fun in the beginning and then it turned like Real serious. What are you gonna do? I mean, that's. I I, I have this 
I, I understand. I think as, as somebody who creates things, I'll have some thing in my brain and it just won't go away. And you just think to yourself, well, this is how it, it's going to play out. This is just how it is for good or for bad. And you like, I'll, I'll put it out online and I'll get comments about I like this. I didn't like that. The online is fantastic for like brutally honest feedback. By the oh, way. right. Yeah. But it's like, well, this is something that just was in my brain. It wouldn't go away. It just had to fit into the script somehow. People didn't like it. But um, I've produced maybe 25 little cat videos over the years. And um, you just get to a certain point where it's like, well, you, you have to... If you try to anticipate what the audience wants, there's, there's no way. You just, whatever you, whatever's in your brain... If that's the way it's playing out, that's just the way you make it. You put it up and you're happy with it. And then the audience likes it or they don't. And that's just how it is. So if that's the way the story went, you know, it was happy and then it's sad. Yeah, sure. That's, that's just how it is. And the audience likes it. I liked it. I thought it was good. Good. Yeah. Well, in general, when you make something, it's it should be for yourself, right? If you're, if you're going to put in all the blood, set, sweat blood sex and tears <laughs> apparently with this guy uh you put in all the blood sweat and tears you want it to be for yourself yes yeah yeah you you like it it's it's wonderful it's gratifying when when an audience reacts to it mm -hmm. but uh you know well i i do i try to do viral videos i had the first one blew up in 2008 and uh there's a, my buddy and i he's he's like my silent sidekick buddy we're like pen and teller kind of thing and we've we've been doing this for so many years and we've tried to find that magic little formula that's going to make it go all over the internet again and it's very very difficult to do that right well and there's do you feel like there's a lot more content out there that's oh sure improving yeah. and yeah it's... yeah there's 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 is a much much bigger uh market out there now so mm -hmm. i mean that makes it a little bit harder but having having had one that already went, then you know presumably you can you've built an audience and you should be able to do that again. And then you just find I've made twenty cat videos and none of them have anywhere near the popularity of the first. It's not about you know like we said, it's about making it for yourself. Yes, something but, you can uh, at least enjoy. So I really want to see this, and I'm sure that anyone who would be watching this would also want to see it. We've heard enough about the cat videos and now we're just like, ah, somebody wants to open up another window <laughs> right now and see it. So how do we do that? The easiest thing to do, well, the most popular one's called An Engineer's Guide to Cats. Sweet. But just go to YouTube and type in Cat Engineer. I think our cameraman has seen this before. If you, if you, don't, if you can't remember Cat Engineer, type in Cat Yodeling. Oh, sweet. Oh, I, I Can somebody get me a phone right now? I, I, I invented this. cat yodeling, so that's that's a that's a okay. thing on the internet now. Can you patent that? Can you patent cat Interestingly yodeling? Interestingly enough, a couple of years after the fact, Walmart created a cat yodeling video. Those assholes. <laughs> they did it a little different. They have a, a cat with a human mouth digitally imposed, and the cat's uh. like, then the mouth is yodeling, but it's it's cat yodeling for Christmas, and I'm like, where did they get that idea? Huh. Hmm. Where do they? Come I from? wonder. Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Another reason not to shop at Walmart. <laughs> Stealing cat videos. Gosh. All right. Well, thank you so much for for joining me today. My and pleasure. Chatting My with pleasure. me, and I hope you have a great film festival. Oh, it's been awesome so far. It's awesome every year, and 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 the the, the films this year are really very good. Every single one of them has been just excellent. So. Well, when you have like a what less than one percent of your films that that were submitted. That's is that what it is? It's, it's a tiny amount of films that were selected. Boy, so I it's with real some good. People to make that happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later.